Hey everyone, my name is Xavier and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use Jenkins with private Git repositories. When you want to check out a private Git repository that is hosted on GitHub or Bitbucket, you need an SSH key to authenticate yourself. That way GitHub or Bitbucket knows that you have permissions to access this repository. So let's take a look at how you can set up these keys in Jenkins. So here I have a fresh installation of Jenkins and I want to create a job that uses this Bitbucket repository. Now it's a private repository, so simply using this URL right here in my jobs configuration file will not work because Bitbucket will prevent my Jenkins installation from reading anything from this repository. So instead we need to generate an SSH key pair for our Jenkins installation. So I'm gonna open up my terminal and I'm already logged into my server that is running Jenkins. And right now I am the root user on our system, but our Jenkins installation actually runs under the Jenkins user. If you have a default Jenkins installation, that will also be the case for you. So I need to open up a terminal session for the Jenkins user. So to do that, I'm gonna type sudo su Jenkins. And then you notice that right now I am the Jenkins user. Now all that we have to do here is generate a new SSH key pair. And to do that, we just have to run SSH keygen. And if I run that, it will ask us where it should store our keys. And I'm just gonna leave the default path as is. And I'm not gonna configure a passphrase, so I'm gonna leave that empty. I'm gonna leave the second one empty as well. And then we can see that our key has been saved in that particular folder. So now that we have our key, we need to let Bitbucket know that it should accept this key. Now to do that, we need the contents of our public key file. So I'm gonna use cat here. And there is the contents of our public key. So I'm gonna copy this all. I'm gonna to go to Bitbucket. I'm gonna go into the settings. And I'm gonna add this key as an access key. And access keys in Bitbucket are a bit special because they only have read-only access. And that's actually perfect because our Jenkins installation should not be able to make any commits. It should only be able to check out our code. So I'm gonna add a key, I'm gonna give it a label. I'm gonna say that the label of this key is Jenkins. I'm gonna paste in the public key of my Jenkins installation, the one we just generated. Don't paste the private key in here, that won't work. The private key has to remain private and only on your server. We're gonna click on add key. And that is it, now Bitbucket knows the key that belongs to our Jenkins server and it will allow it to read all of our source code that's in this repository. Now before we can use it in a Jenkins job, we also need to configure Jenkins to actually use this newly generated SSH key because right now it doesn't know about it. So I'm gonna to go to my Jenkins installation, I'm gonna manage Jenkins, uh, whoops, I mean credentials, let's go to credentials, let's open up the system cr systems credentials, let's go to global credentials and let's add a new credential here. I'm gonna change the kind, I'm gonna set it to an SSH username with a private key. You can give in any username that you want, I'm gonna name mine Jenkins. And then we can specify where our private key is. So either we can enter it directly right here, or we can pick any file on our server, or we can use the default in the .ssh directory. So I'm gonna leave it at this one, at the last one, this is the default location for an SSH key. I'm gonna click OK. And now Jenkins knows about our SSH key and we can use it inside of our jobs. So let's make a new job for our private repository. I'm gonna make it a freestyle project and I'm gonna call it my project. I'm gonna click OK. You can use an SSH key in other project types as well. So you can use it inside a pipeline. I'm gonna scroll down. I'm gonna set my source code management system to Git. And now it asks me the repository URL. So I'm gonna to go to Bitbucket. I'm gonna to go to overview and here I have the SSH URL to my repository. So I'm gonna copy that and paste that in here. And Jenkins gives us a warning because it's not allowed to read from the remote uh, repository. And it says, please make sure you have the correct access rights. And that is because right now Jenkins is using no credentials. So if I open up this dropdown, we can use the SSH key that we just entered in Jenkins. So I'm gonna click on that 
and our warning should go away. And there we go, the warning is gone. Now I can save this job and let's see if it all works. Let's hit build now. And after a few seconds, you can see that our job has finished successfully. I can open up the console output here and I can see that it has successfully fetched all of our code. You can see also the latest commit message. It says readme created online with Bitbucket. That was the commit that I created. It was a very simple one. And so now our Jenkins has access to our private repository. Now, if you have a private GitHub repository, it's about the same process, except that they don't call it access keys, but they call it deploy keys. So let's go to GitHub here. Here I have a repository. It's not a private repository, but let's assume that it is. Uh, you can go to settings and then in the deploy key section, you can do the same thing as we've done with Bitbucket. You can add a new deploy key. You can give it a title. Let's call it Jenkins. Then you can paste in your key right here and then you can add it or you can even give it write access, which is not really recommended for Jenkins, but you can do it if you want to. So that was it for this video. I hope you find it interesting. And if you did, subscribe to my channel and check out the rest of my Jenkins tutorials. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.